We're called to stand against. And why are we called to stand against? Because the church fights from victory, not for victory. We're on the hill. We're at the place of strength. The enemy's down there. See, the wrong battle right now for us, church, is for us to leave our advantage, our point, our mountaintop, and go down into the valley where Satan would love for you to go so that he can deceive you, so that he can destroy you, so that he can lie to you. We're called to stand against. I know I'm starting to look a little bit like Gerard Butler. My hair's going long. 300 is one of my favorite movies out there. Man, those, you know, Sparta, you know, those, those guys there, man, they locked the shields and they're there. Their role was not necessarily to go after the enemy. They had to hold the line because if they were to get past this one point, they would inhabit all of Sparta and they would take over. Listen, Christians, we've got to hold the line. When I moved here to Pittsburgh two years ago, I didn't know Pittsburgh. I thought, oh man, like there's gotta be some work here and some ministry here. And, but man, I wanna plant a church. I hope people come. I hope people love Jesus in that city. And here's what I found out. God has not called me here to Pittsburgh to make Jesus Lord of Pittsburgh. He's already Lord of the city. This is already his city. Satan is nothing but a pawn in God's hand. We fight from victory, not for victory. We've been called to stand against 